Welcome back, guys. Tip of the day: How to run GMod on OS X Mavericks. So, for all you guys that don't know, um, Gary's mod is a physics sandbox game. So, requires other sources to make it run, like Valve games like Team Fortress 2, Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Source, uh, those type of games. So, you got read the fine print if you guys don't know how to run it. I myself did not have a uh, Half Life. Um, I had Half Life Two. I didn't have didn't have Counter Strike Source, so I couldn't run it for some reason. So ways I found to make it run. Um, you want to go to right click on um, Gary's mod. Go to properties. Should be updates uh, files. Uh, let's see. No. Nope. Yeah, I think yeah, betas. You want to hit development branch, and that's all right. I guess it runs that way because I did it the other way and didn't have that thing set on. So just make sure you have that on. So this site is called C's Cheater Era, E. And it's pretty much a site for so if you want to use uh, the content from the game but not actually purchase the game, you can use this site. So you're not actually purchase because you don't purchase the game, so you can't really run it on Steam. But it, but the content you can run on Steam, but not the game. So we know hit the, the one we want to hit is Mega Game Content Counter Strike Source. It's the main one you need to run Gary's mod. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't tried uh selecting the other ones, but that made it work for me. So I'm just gonna go with that one. I'll put the website uh, under the description of the video. So for you know, guys, if you like, oh shit, I didn't type it down or anything. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So hit the red one. Mega game content. So as you can see, I already extracted my file from there. You can unzip it with from uh, for Mac. Um, I I use uh, the unarchiver, so such for you guys. It's free in the apps in the Mac App Store, so go get it. You can pretty much open a lot of files, as you can see right there. Zip, RIR, seven zip, uh, grip, and some other stuff. So what you want to do is hit copy. There you go. You want to use your finder and go to folder. Type this little hash code thing. I'll put it in the description below so you guys can find it. It will take you to your main Steam app folders of its contents. And you want to hit Steam apps. Hit uh, common. Hit Gary's mod. You want to hit Gary's mod again. There it is. Hit add ons. And as you can see, that's where I uh, pasted my folder in. And this is the way I found it to work. Um, I'm not sure if it. I'm not sure if it works for everyone, but this is the way I did it, and I got Gary's mod to run fine, just fine, on OS X Mavericks. So this is the intro, and I hope this tip helped you out. If you guys had trouble installing it and running it on OS X Mavericks, and uh, leave a good comment if you if it helped. If it didn't, um, if you have any guys uh, for other videos or something. Let me know if you guys didn't know anything. I like to do this kind of stuff. All right.